the final images of Mercury may already exist. A planet scorched by the sun, hiding frozen water. A magnetic field in a world too small to have one. And the last probe we sent? It took one final photo before crashing into the surface. What did it see in those last seconds? Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and yet it's one of the most overlooked. It's smaller than any other planet in the solar system, just 4,879 kilometers in diameter. To put that into perspective, Mercury is not much larger than our moon. It orbits at a blistering distance of only 58 million kilometers from the sun. That's two and a half times closer than Earth. At that range, temperatures on the surface can reach up to 430 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. And at night? With no atmosphere to trap the heat, it plummets to minus 180 degrees. Mercury isn't just hot, it's extreme. And here's where things start to break our understanding. Despite being so close to the sun, despite enduring this infernal heat for billions of years, Mercury has frozen water at its poles. Let that sink in. In permanently shadowed craters, where sunlight never reaches, ice has survived for millions, possibly billions of years. It's locked away in darkness, preserved like a message from the solar system's earliest days. But it shouldn't be there, not this close to the sun, and certainly not on a planet with an atmosphere thinner than smoke. In fact, Mercury doesn't even have a proper atmosphere. It has what's called an exosphere, a cloud of atoms blasted off its surface by solar wind. It's so fragile that a single breath would contain more particles than an entire cubic meter of Mercury's air. And yet, this little world, against all odds, holds the ingredients for life, or at least the frozen residue of water, one of its essential components. But that's only the surface, because to truly understand how Mercury survived in this hostile zone, we have to look deeper at how it moves through space and the strange, almost impossible way it spins around the sun. And what scientists discovered there? It rewrites everything we thought we knew about planetary motion. Mercury doesn't rotate like any other planet. If you stood on its surface, you'd see the sun rise slowly, stop, reverse, and then rise again before completing a single day. This strange behavior is caused by something called a spin-orbit resonance, a gravitational dance where Mercury rotates three times for every two orbits around the Sun. It's not tidally locked like the Moon. It's worse. Mercury has one of the most complex relationships with its star in the entire solar system. A day on Mercury, sunrise to sunrise, lasts 176 Earth days nearly six Earth months of light, followed by six of freezing darkness. But here's the question that keeps scientists up at night. Why does Mercury spin like this at all? For a long time, researchers believed it was due to tidal forces from the Sun, that Mercury had once been locked into a one-to-one -one rotation, always facing the same side toward the Sun, just like the Moon does to Earth. But then, something changed. A team led by astrophysicist Benoit Noyel proposed that Mercury was captured into its current 3-2 resonance very early in its history. Others believed that a colossal impact with a massive celestial object knocked it out of its original spin, leaving it trapped in this rare and delicate balance. This isn't just theoretical. Mercury is covered in scars, Massive craters, enormous basins, evidence of a violent past. But Mercury's orbit has another twist. It's not circular like Earth's. It's highly elliptical, an elongated oval. Its distance from the Sun swings dramatically from 46 million kilometers at its closest to 70 million at its farthest. And within that orbit, something strange was discovered a ring of dust. Yes, Mercury, 
this small scorched rock with barely any gravity has a dusty ring in its orbit. It was supposed to be empty. Instead, scientists found a faint but consistent cloud of microscopic particles trailing the planet as it moves. Where does it come from? The leading theory is that meteoroids collide with Mercury's surface, launching debris into space that then settles into the same orbital path. But here's the wild part. This might not be unique. Some researchers now suspect that other exoplanets might also be surrounded by similar invisible rings, dust halos formed by constant bombardments. If that's true, then Mercury isn't just a relic of our solar system. It's a model, a window into what planets all across the galaxy may experience. But to understand how this small planet holds together under such chaos, we have to dig beneath its surface into its metal heart. And what lies there changes everything. Beneath Mercury's cratered surface is a secret no one expected. When early measurements were made of the planet's mass, something didn't add up. Mercury was too dense, too heavy for its size. And then came the realization. Mercury's core isn't just large, it's enormous. It makes up more than 60% of the planet's entire volume, far more than Earth, Mars, or even Venus. Imagine a planet stripped down to almost pure metal with just a thin layer of rock left to cover it. But here's what's truly astonishing. That core is still partially molten, and somehow it's still alive. Despite being so small, too small by all logic to hold enough internal heat, Mercury generates a magnetic field. It's weak, just 1% the strength of Earth's, but it's there. And that alone defies planetary science. Mars is bigger, yet it lost its magnetic field long ago. But Mercury? Still holds on to one. How? One theory comes from Dr. William McDonough, a geologist of the University of Maryland. He believes that during the Sun's formation, heavier elements, especially metals, were pulled inward toward the newborn star. Mercury, forming in that region, became a collector of cosmic metal. But that's only part of the story. To explain the planet's massive core and thin mantle, some scientists believe that Mercury was once much larger. A protoplanet, fully formed, until a catastrophic collision ripped away a huge portion of its rocky crust. That impact, if it happened, would have turned Mercury into what it is today, a dense, battered survivor wandering too close to the Sun and it left behind scars. MESSENGER, NASA's orbiting spacecraft, detected strange anomalies in the magnetic field, including a bizarre 20% shift in the field's alignment as if the planet's magnetic heart had been yanked off-center. Even more mysterious, solar particles appear to erode the southern hemisphere more aggressively than the north, as if Mercury's magnetic shield has holes. These openings in the magnetosphere may even feed Mercury's fragile exosphere, pulling in atoms from the surface into space, only for them to fall back in a strange cycle of magnetic recycling. Mercury may be small, but inside it's more complex, more defiant than any other rocky world. And to see just how much it's endured, we need to follow the machines we've sent to meet it face to face. And what they found was beyond anything we expected. In over half a century of space exploration, we've sent just two missions to Mercury. Only two spacecraft have come close enough to glimpse this elusive world, and each of them changed our understanding of the solar system. First came Mariner 10. Launched in 1973 by NASA, it used Venus's gravity to slingshot itself toward Mercury a pioneering move at the time. It didn't orbit the planet, it flew by three times. With each pass, Mariner 10 revealed a little more. It captured over 2,700 images, mapped nearly half of Mercury's surface, 
and made three historic discoveries. A crater terrain, eerily similar to our moon. A tenuous atmosphere, just a whisper of atoms. And most shocking of all, a magnetic field. That shouldn't have been possible. But there it was, forcing scientists to rethink Mercury's core entirely. Then, for 30 years, nothing. Mercury returned to silence, too dangerous, too hot, too costly. Until 2004, that's when MESSENGER launched. Built by NASA, it would go on to become the first spacecraft ever to orbit Mercury. MESSENGER didn't just observe, it mapped, analyzed, measured, and uncovered. Over a decade of operations, it took over 200,000 photos of Mercury, created the first complete global map of the planet, measured its chemical composition with stunning detail, discovered evidence of past volcanic activity, tracked the displacement of its magnetic field. And then it ended where it began. In April 2015, running low on fuel, MESSENGER was programmed to descend and crashed directly into Mercury's surface. Not as a failure, but as a final act of discovery. Before impact, it sent one last message. A grainy, jagged alien landscape. The final close-up we may ever see of Mercury for years to come. That moment marked the end of direct observation, but not the end of the story. Because out there, still racing through the dark, is a new mission, a joint effort by the European Space Agency and Japan, Bepi Colombo. Launched in 2018, Bepi Colombo is on its way now, two spacecraft traveling as one. Their goal? To answer the questions Messenger left behind and uncover the secrets no camera has captured yet. But before Bepi Colombo arrives, we're left with the legacy of just two machines and the mysteries they left buried on the surface. Mercury still hides its truth, but the scars are starting to speak, and they're telling a story of destruction, creation, and survival against impossible odds. Mercury's surface is unlike anything else in the solar system. It looks like the moon, but the deeper we look, the more we realize it's something far stranger. Its entire crust is a battlefield, a record of billions of years of cosmic violence. We've identified over 500 named craters, each a scar from a time when space was young and brutal. Some are simple bowls, a few kilometers wide. Others are colossal basins stretching for hundreds of kilometers. The most famous? The Caloris Basin, a 963 kilometer wide impact crater so massive the shock waves traveled through the entire planet and fractured the terrain on the opposite side. Imagine being hit so hard, your skin cracks on the back. Nearby lies the Rembrandt Basin, another ancient scar, likely once flooded with lava. These weren't just holes in the ground. They were reshaped by Mercury's internal fury, volcanic plains, molten floods, and shifting crust. But some craters are different. Ghost craters, barely visible, smoothed over by ancient lava flows. Elliptical craters, stretched by low angle impacts. Polygonal craters, shaped by fractured crustal blocks. And then, there are the ray craters. Like cosmic fireworks, these craters have long, bright trails, material ejected during impact, forming lines that extend for thousands of kilometers. The most dramatic is Hokusai. Its rays stretch over 4,500 kilometers, making it one of the most visually striking features in the entire solar system. But even these pale in comparison to the strangest discovery of all. Hollows. First spotted by Mariner 10, confirmed by Messenger, these shallow depressions have no rims no impact signatures, and appear to be fresh. They shimmer with brightness, clusters of reflective, unstable terrain, and the most chilling part? They're still forming. 
Scientists believe hollows are created when volatile substances inside Mercury's crust sublimate, turn to gas, and escape into space. It's like the planet is slowly evaporating from the inside out. No other planet or moon has features like these. Not the moon, not Mars, not even icy worlds in the outer system. Just Mercury. Its surface is still changing, still responding to ancient heat, still whispering of a world that refuses to be finished. And that raises the most haunting question of all. What's still waiting to emerge from beneath Mercury's skin? For now, Mercury is silent again. Messenger's mission ended in 2015, and no human eyes have seen the planet up close since. But something is coming, something built to answer the questions Mercury refused to give us. Its name is Bepi Colombo, a joint mission between the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA. Bepi Colombo launched in 2018, and after a long, complex journey, it is scheduled to arrive in Mercury's orbit in 2025. But this is no ordinary probe. It's actually two spacecraft in one. MIO, built by Japan, will study the magnetic field, magnetosphere, and solar wind interactions. The Mercury Planetary Orbiter from Europe will map the surface, analyze the composition, and measure gravitational anomalies. Together, they form the most advanced mission ever sent to Mercury. Their objectives? Monumental. Understand why Mercury's magnetic field is shifted off-center. Determine the true origin of the planet's massive iron core. Reveal what lies beneath the polar ice and solve the mystery of the hollows, why they exist and why they're still forming. But here's what makes Bepi Colombo different. It won't crash. It won't burn. It's designed to orbit Mercury for years, observing both from afar and up close. But here's the haunting part. Despite all its advanced instruments, there's no guarantee that Bepi Colombo will capture anything as intimate as raw or as final as Messenger's last image. You see, space missions don't just run out of time. They run out of life. Fuel, power, cooling, stability. One failure, one unexpected heat surge, and Bepi Colombo could become just another silent observer, floating forever around a planet that refuses to speak clearly. So it begs the question, have we already seen Mercury for the last time? Or will 2025 unlock something we never imagined? Something that makes us rethink not just Mercury, but the birth of every rocky world in the universe? Mercury was never supposed to survive. Too small, too close to the sun, too unstable. And yet, it's still here. Wounded, warped, but still alive. It spins like no other planet. Its heart beats with molten metal. Its scars tell stories of ancient cataclysms and silent evolution. In the frozen shadows of its poles, in the bright flashes of its ray craters, in the strange hollows still growing today, Mercury whispers truths about the very fabric of our solar system. The final image may already be taken, but the story is still being written. And what comes next might change everything. If Mercury left you with questions, wait until you see what's waiting beyond it. Watch this next.